We're living in and leading through some really intriguing but undoubtedly challenging times. Unfortunately, the reality is what we've experienced these past few years has been way beyond demanding and taxing on everyone's human spirit. And in a world of instant connectivity, we must never forget that people are at the heart of leadership. People with real stories, real feelings, and real emotions. We should not overlook or dehumanize the fact that we're all caring and going through something that another person really can't see. You know, our mental health should never be neglected, and it deserves the same care and attention as our physical health. So here are four ways in which we can start prioritizing our mental health right now. Number one, stand up to negative self-talk. You know, we're more in control of our negative self-talk and chatter than we think. There is nothing wrong with having a negative thought, nothing at all. But we just have to remain mindful not to allow it to turn into something that's a lingering negative conversation. Don't let your mind bully your body into believing that it must carry out the burden of its worries. Number two, stop saying yes when you want to say no. Using no is a complete sentence. Realize that our time is limited and the art of managing our energy is more important than ever. If we attempt to please everyone without nurturing our own spirit, we open ourselves up to, to resentment and burnout and internal turbulence. Number three, move your body. You know, we were born to move, yet we find our days consumed with a, a lot of stirring and sitting in front of those computer screens. Getting creative and intentional with moving our bodies for something like a walk or dancing or stretching or even exercise can boost our mood and reduce our stress. These acts can help us feel a lot better and more alive. And then lastly, ask for help when you need it. You know, asking for help does not make us inadequate. It only makes us human, right? Our lives thrive on connection and support and belonging and the meaningful relationship with ourselves and our minds and others. Putting our ego and pride aside and asking for help is a radical act of self-care that we deserve. You know, life can be tough, and the reality is it's probably going to get tougher. But remember, it is okay to not have it all figured out. It's okay to not be okay. You know, life is a marathon, and in time, you'll emerge from this storm different from the person who first encountered it. But don't neglect yourself, your team, or your loved ones. I think it's time that we rethink and do more about our mental health, our self-care, and our well-being, starting right now. To your health.